Hi, my name is Emilio from Border International, and today we have a good friend, Emery Sandberg. He's been with uh, Philips 66 for the past 30 plus years, and today he's going to tell us about the technology that lubricants are uh, bringing to the table nowadays. And without further ado, uh, Emery, do you want to go ahead and talk? Thank about you. This? Yeah, Emery Sandberg, as Emilio said, with uh, Philips 66 lubricants, um, 30 plus years. Uh, it's great to be associated with uh, International and Navistar, uh, Border International and Navistar. This is uh, our first year together, and uh, Philip 66 is really happy to be here. Good, uh, he didn't mention he's a business development uh, director for the Western part of the United States. Uh, he's full of knowledge, by the way. Uh, so we have a couple questions that I get asked often from my uh, customers in my region, and I guess they're very interesting. So the first question that I get asked the most is, um, what are you seeing out there in lubricants? Well, there's a lot of changes going on in lubricants today. Uh, lubrication is just like all of the other technologies. You know, it's just like a cell phone. They get better and better all the time and lubricants get better and better all the time. And they change and they get newer and, and they get newer because trucks get better and better and farm tractors get better and better. And so we have to keep up. Hmm. The second question I get asked the most is there, uh, is there any products out there to help the fuel economy? You know, that's a great question. There are, in fact, one of the most important things about lubrication today is improving fuel economy. Um, it makes our farms and our trucking companies more efficient and it helps, uh, it helps the economy and it helps the environment because we burn less fuel and get better fuel mileage. Hmm. And so that's helpful to have fluids that will do that. And truck manufacturers and other equipment manufacturers are making equipment that will go further, burn less fuel, be more efficient. And this question actually kind of, I uh, have asked myself before, but I'm not sure. So I drive a diesel truck, but I've always thought about going from conventional to synthetic. Uh, is there any problem if I do that? In today, there is no problem if you do that. Long time ago, 30, 40 years ago, it was an issue. But today, all CK4, FA4 oils must be compatible with the engine, with the transmission, and all other uh, pieces of that equipment. So seals have to be compatible with CK4, and other CK4 oils have to be compatible with each other, especially the quality products. Hmm. So last question that I have, it's uh, very interesting. Uh, what do you see in tomorrow's uh, uh, future when it comes to oil? Um, you think there's going to be fully electric trucks over the road? You know, we, I get that question a lot and I actually ask that question when I'm out, but there's going to be electric trucks, that, some that will be powered one way or another with electricity. Um, we have actually in the mining business, uh, right now engines that power generators or power electric fields that drive the wheels. And so, uh, we're going to see that, but lubricants won't be going away. Those all require lubricants. At Phillips 66, we're a basic lubricant manufacturer. We have, we deal with OE manufacturers all the time. We make fluids for them. Uh, and then of course we bring them here so that their customers can continue to buy fluid out here. And uh, electronic vehicle fluids were just introduced by Phillips 66 this last week. Hmm. All right, everybody. Well, that's it for me, Emilio from Border International and my friend Emery Sunberg from Phillips 66. Thanks for watching. Uh, we're gonna be back and uh, April, end of, end of April, towards the end of April. But uh, if you have any questions, please reach out to us, call us, and we'd be happy to uh, answer all your questions. Thanks for watching. Thank you.